explaining what we do not have anymore. I'll share something with you. Some of you know that I teach a class for Kaplan University. I have the honor to be to have Michelle here. Are you Michelle from Kaplan? Maybe she left already. She was here from Kaplan University. It was an honor that she came. And I teach an online class on ethics. And once a week, and I started implementing this gratitude thing with my students. And I asked them the first time that I did it, if you agree with this, let's do it. If we don't, this, don't do it. It's extra curriculum. Okay. So we start the seminar and each, each week, I ask them, just before we go into the ethics subject matter, for them to share what they feel grateful for that happened the previous week. Just to share it. It is amazing, this turnout. It is amazing. They just wait for their turn. Because, you know, I'm, I'm talking and they are writing, you know, like chatting. And it is incredible how they continue to say, I'm thankful for this, for that, for this. And I'm like, oh my God, you see, people have the power of giving thanks. Only if you guide them. If you just give them the idea. And when we are done with the term, they send me emails say, Professor Huben, I'm going to continue giving thanks. So that is wonderful. And that is one of the tools I bring to you. And it is in the book. It's principle number three. Be, be grateful. Forgive, love, and be grateful. The other principles have to do with doing rituals like writing letters or keeping a journal. That helps a lot. How many of you keep a journal here? Let me see. Keep a journal? Okay, that helps a lot. Some people have been reluctant at the beginning when they come you know, to the practice. Once they start doing it, they see the difference. They see the difference. So it is a big one. Writing letters as well to, you know, when someone has died and there are some unfinished things that we didn't get to tell them. So writing a letter. So it's healing. As Dale said, when we tell our stories, it's healing. And there is actually a very unique technique to let go of traumas that you tell your story over and over and over and over. And it does work. It does work. It does heal. So it is important to tell the stories. The book contains 60 real stories. Well, I'm going to tell you how the book is um, it is done. The, it's three parts, three sections. The first section of the book, I talk about what losses are. As we say, as we can see, there are different types of losses. Then I talk about what grief is. Grief is just an experience of having a loss. That's how we express that we have experienced a loss, through grief. And there are different manifestations, different dimensions. So you can go into the book and you can do different exercises. The second part of the book is the six stories. And then the third part is the transformational system that are the 11 principles. So remember, in you, you have the power. Within you, you have the resources. It all depends how you take it. And there's a saying that says, Six Sigler says it, it is not what happens to you. It is what you do with what happens to you that will make a difference in your life. Let's remember, we have choices. We have choices. You know that I was in Savannah a week ago, 10 days ago, doing a seminar for a hospital, and uh, a reverend of pastoral care, and I had just received the book the day before, so I took the book there, and beautiful, beautiful gentleman, very sensitive, he was looking at the book, and he's like, hmm, that's a subliminal message. He said, what are you trying to say with that? Like, what do you see? I said, I want to hear, you know, your perception. And he's like, well, in this, you can see that despite darkness, despite darkness, you can still fly. I loved what he said. And this is my message to you tonight. Despite darkness, you can still fly. It's your choice. 
You can make it. You can make it happen to you. You can help others, guide them in how they can transform their losses and change their lives. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, any comments, any questions, yes, please. Um, I'd like to know the moment that caused you to transform or be aware of your loss. You said there was something that happened to you when you were 27 that helped you to go back. Can you describe what that, where, that, where you were, what happened? Yes, thank you for asking. I did an age regression. Are you familiar with that? With an age regression. I did that, and I remember my sister, Marilena, recommended this lady, my sister, Marilena, recommended this lady that did regression. Do you remember when, <laughs> do you remember when Brian Weiss was very famous with many masters, many lives, many masters? So it is the lady who worked with him. Was, was her name Marilena, Linda Adler? Lina Adler. Lina Adler. Okay. So I went to her, and uh, as I said, I, I have never shared this until now, and some very few people know. But you know what? It was so healing that I want to share with you because then I I went to studying that you know, you know this progression because I, it worked so beautiful with me, and so I went to her and she said she asked me, do you uh, do you want to go to a previous life or do you want to you have a trauma in this life that you want to heal to resolve and it was instant i said yes the death of my dad when i was 12 years old so we did it and i relived it totally in my mind no i went through there i saw myself 12 years old crying the funeral the whole thing it was so painful, it was so painful that when I came out